Welcome back to Super Mario 64. I don't know if it matters where the hour's hand is. I think it's only I, it's the, the minute hand. Yeah, I think it's only the minute hand. Because the hour hand's gonna take too long. Surprisingly enough. But we have 107 stars. We're on the top floor of the castle. We don't talk about the 107. If you know it's good for you, you don't talk about it. Um, so... I like yeah. this shadow. Yeah, it's actually, like, over the grate. No, it's like, it's supposed to be the shadow of the star. Oh, but it's round. But it's round, but it also looks like a cheese it or something. <laughs> yeah, so we're on the top floor. The only stages left for us are the clock and rainbow ride. <laughs> the miserable ones. Yeah. Aren't you so happy we're here? I do like that those blocks have the slight tell before rotating where they, like, oh, move down and up again. You know it was, like, early on that they didn't have that. Yeah, like, early on they just rotated and people were like, these blocks are a pain in the butt. And then someone goes, oh, what if we do this? I think it's slightly slower than it was last time you were in. I think I came in and later time, so... Yeah, because I feel like you could have just gone all the way up that. Probably, but I'm being safe for some reason. Fair. Are these fire things really necessary? Again, it's like late level. They're like, we're, we're done being nice to you. Um, I have no idea where a lot of the stars are in this. I know where, like, three stars are. This one was called the Pit and the Pendulum. Yeah, I have no idea. And I don't know if it's, like, that hey, one where you have to be on the clock hand to do it, or if it's, like, further up. Hmm. Because there's, like... Oh, there's one there, too. They're just kind of around. That's one of those ones I think you can also jank to, but, like... Oh, I'm sight. sure you can. If it's like, open, you can friggin' long jump to it from somewhere. Well, like, less long jump, I think you can, like, side jump into it. Can you, like, just back roll up there? Yeah. And in fact, you probably have to. In fact, you probably have to. A little tag here at the end. This course actually plays, I feel, a bit closer to, whereas, like, a lot of these courses are fairly explorative. This one plays closer to the Bowser stages. Which is to say, kind of like, um... I hate it. I mean, that's true, but other than that... Yeah, I mean, yes, but... More like, tr more like a traditional Mario stage. Yeah, more like a traditional Mario stage, with, um, effectively beginning platforming challenges end. <laughs> I smooshed. One kind of nice thing about this level is most of it is surrounding the outside edge. So if you do ever miss a jump, there's a fair chance there's going to be a platform below to catch you. Actually, I was going to die. You can only miss so many jumps, though. Actually, that one was mostly because I was kind of like, you know what, fuck it, I'm here far enough down. I'm going to try to go for some red coins just so I can get that, too. Okay, look, I'm going to go get a Mario 64 level editor and a ROM. I mean, I already need to do that to edit out all the signposts. And we're just going to go in and skim through and delete every single fire spawner. Thing coming. Yeah, it's coming. It's, it's just slow. It's slow, because I'm, I'm at the unearly time, so it's being really slow. And I don't want to go too far, because I know that fire spawner is going to start something. Mm -hmm. Yo, so we're supposed to be inside of a clock? Why is this hand here? Mm. Where are you supposed to see this hand from? Like, from the top or the bottom? Where's where's anything going on in this clock? It's the fantastical nature of Bowser's magic, I guess. 
I guess that's also like the Clock Tower Castlevania games. Like, really, what are all these gears actually doing? Does he even have a clock face up there? Yeah, is there even a clock face up there? Whoa. You bet your butt you get hit by that guy, you just die. Here we go! Well, you're out near the middle, so... Get a hand. Well, not the one we were aiming for, but whatever. Then what's the pit in the pendulum? I have no idea. Where's a pendulum? It's those things that are... I mean, I mean it's those, but like... Where is something that I would call a pendulum that could be related to a star? That sounds like it would be in a pit. But like, where you start as far down as you can get in the pit. Yeah, like, there's nothing down more than this. Or is there? Now that's level reset. Or the life loss, so... Uh... If you would be so kind. Well, no mind. I was gonna say, just, like, take a look around. That's pretty much death from yeah, there on. Yeah, a whole lot of not anything down there. So it's gotta be something up above. Somewhere. Clock and didn't spawn. Well, yeah, why would it spawn in memory safe? I like that all these boxes have coins in them. I think it's to compensate for the fact that you can't necessarily get the red coins if you're going for the 100 coins. Hmm. Or it's their way of being like, we can't put all the... We can't look, put a coin circle or something around here, so we have... To yeah, hard to fit all the coins in everywhere, so... I also feel like other stages, even um, Tall Tall Mountain, had a lot of one-ups around. You don't talk about that stage anymore. Not a lot of one-ups in this stage, just coins. Which, honestly, lives kind of don't matter, so... I'd prefer coins. I mean, that's why it took them up till Odyssey to finally get it through, that it's like, eh, one-up mushrooms are iconic, but it's pointless. I'm gonna get a one-up there, I guess. I feel like one-ups do have a use, but not in a game like this. The, it's the obstacle course stuff for like the original three, uh, 2D Mario's. It made sense because that was the point of the whole thing. But it's supposed to be explorative, have fun, and it's kind of like it kills the pacing of it. Yeah, there's no reason for it here. Like the wor oh, that's probably it. That is probably it. Like there's no reason for it here because it's just like it's explorative, and there's no halfway point. I feel like. Halfway points make a. Oh, that's a lot of blue coins. Oh, dude. I feel like halfway points make a good use of lives, because then it's as simple as. Wow, this is a fun-looking ops course. Would be fun if I just fucked it over. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, because then you get something like you have X number of lives to get through this stage using the checkpoints. You run out of lives, you lose your checkpoints. But if you have lives, then you can go back to your checkpoint. So, like, I feel like that's a good use, but in a course like this, in a game like this, what happens when you run out of lives? You're right back where you started. There's nothing. Like, what do they do? Bump you back to the castle entrance? Okay, I gotta walk up the castle again, I guess. Meh. This one's called Stomp the Thwomp, and I'm kind of like, there's a thwomp in here? The very top of the tower. Probably. I'm not even- I'm not kidding, that's where it is. Gravel. I remember this one. That's it. This is, uh, trauma from long ago. No, it's just- it is the goal of the tower, so to say.
don't know why I'm watching over there, it's delayed. Yes. And then I hear the noises from this, and I'm like, what did you bonk? Well, I'll find out in a couple seconds. Or I could just turn my head! What did you bonk? Well, I said a comment in a Twitch chat, and everyone said no horny, and I just got bonked on the head a bunch. <laughs> and I was like, but I wasn't... I was just saying stuff. Was it horny stuff? No. Oh. how the seraphims were awesome, were better the angel tears than the thrones. I don't know why people were going like no horny. It's like it was a tier list for angels. I don't know what the hell was happening there. Granted, it also didn't help that the SMT angel for the longest time was a bondage character. I was like, really? This is your angel? The, oh, did they actually get rid of that? Yeah, for SMT5, they redesigned it. L way better looking. I, I don't care what anybody wants to be like, oh, that's blasphemy. And it's like, you know what was blasphemy? Your angel character looked like they were in bondage. That was literal blasphemy. I mean, yes, it was, but I honestly kind of liked it. It felt very SMT. Well, there was definitely some S&M in there. <laughs> I did not push back. <laughs> There's a more ambiguousness with the new angel that I, uh, I, I kind of find a little better, because mm. I don't think anyone needs to realize that their grandpa looks like that now for some reason. <laughs> like, Grandpa, you got massively hot in death. It's, I know, right? I don't think that's how angels work. They, There's a lot. You can't... There, I, it's... Angels are real heckin' complicated. I, it's the more, the more you look at it, the more you're like, I don't know how people got some things from here. Especially, it, it, I, listen, I don't want to start an existential crisis, but a lot of the Bible really doesn't go into the afterlife. It kind of implies that once you're dead, that's kind of it. Don't, don't pass go, do not collect $200 <laughs> kind of thing. It's, it's just one of those like, you're dead, you ain't coming back, there's n there's no point. You go to heaven, and then that's kind of it. You don't need to worry about Earth yeah. no more. Okay, you go to heaven where you are in God's light. Like, like, oh, okay. Like, even the, like, what is it? Oh, so you had to go up the elevator. Yeah, I had to go up the elevator. Or maybe that, maybe that block takes you somewhere. No, you have to go up the elevator, but I'm doing this because... That was a lot of coins. Like, uh, what's that sword? Oh, I can never remember his name. Is it King Soul? Mm hmm. I know Dante. That's about it. Oh, uh, yeah. As far as religious him. stuff goes. Everyone knows Dante. No, it's the guy who went to go see the witch because one of the prophets died. And he was like, I need his help. And the prophet's like, ghost shows up and kind of admonishes him for seeing somebody. I also know Enoch, but admittedly, my source of information on Enoch and what he's accomplished is probably incorrect. See, the sad thing is, is that Enoch is apocryphal, so... Which means it's non-canon. What's hilarious is... El Shaddai is simultaneously less and more accurate than you'd think it is. Oh, no, I, I figured they do a lot of, like, actual research into biblical... Like, it's work. shockingly accurate, but also not even remotely accurate. I mean, your guy takes damage and he wears jeans somehow. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you, you're, you're like game that goes like, we try to be as accurate as we can. Also, here's Enoch wearing jeans. This is not the And star riding anymore. a motorcycle. Yeah, riding a motorcycle. Also, I'm not gonna just get the star? It's that's, right there. That's not the star I want. Also, I really don't want to cock block anyone on me at 30 coins away from a 100 coin star. Especially in TikTok clock. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go 100 coins on TikTok um, clock. Go, go first person before you go up there. Look over down and um, up a bit. I think that's a platform for coins or something. Yeah, because like you, I was worry, I was curious what was in that direction. Oh, there's pistons over there. You, you can see the indentation in the wall. They just yeah, there's loaded. something going over there. 
but I don't know why I would go over there outside of, like, you need to go for this star. Oh, I was being greedy on that one. Yeah, I was gonna say there's coins in that, I guarantee. Just three of them, but hey, three coins. <clears throat> anyway, like, the implication is that when he sees the the prophet's soul, it's not the prophet's soul, it's actually God in the guise of him. Hmm. Because the idea is that once you're dead, your soul doesn't come back to Earth for no matter what, no matter the reason. And then it gets into a lot of more existential stuff, which we're not going to go through, because... Come on, Mario, just do a double jump. It's not hard. Mario. Mario. I don't even know what happened there. I don't feel like we're asking a lot from you, Mario. I was just thinking of something stupid to say for all this stuff, and I was like, this is why Proton John sees you is not as good anymore. And it's like, I'm starting to get it now. Because they made it, they made better Mario games. Like, yeah, it was your childhood game, but they made better ones, and better childhood memories. What okay, you while mean? you're over here, yeah, what is over there? I don't know. It's not loading really? up, and I don't want no, nothing. I, I don't know if I really want to hazard the pistons for something that could be like it could be some coins or it could be nothing. Yeah, it could in fact be nothing at all. It could be like Nothing literally. It could be literally thirty coins over there, and it's like, but they're not loading up. So why would I check it out? Okay, Mario, do a double jump. Close, very close. Yeah, too far. Yeah. Wall jump? Probably awkwardly. I don't know if I'd trust it. Oh, or go. just, you know, single jump. Yeah, it would have been a lot more intimidating if it wasn't so, like, slow. <laughs> yeah, like, they're all in order, nicely and lined up. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, if they were out of order, I'd be mad. If, like, that third one right there was, like, the first one to go off. Yeah, you gotta delay yourself or stand between them or something. Beautiful. I know, right? You gotta love it when the Mario cam is less helpful than the Black of Two camera. The key to this one is rough because of that. I remember that specifically. That doesn't even make sense. Oh, Come back here with time stops. Yes. I don't think we can do that. Uh. I think the problem is, is if you do the time stop, it like... Okay, so there's rotating blocks up there. If, I think the problem is if you do the time stop, you can't actually make it up here. Because you need the elevators. Hmm, that's true. I could long jump over to it. Yeah, I'd honestly, I instead of long jumping, I would maybe. Okay. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Way. There's a heart. The heart things over here. Yeah. I'm good. Provided I don't try to jump up and this thing janks me down. You guys say jank a lot. Yeah. Guess what's jank? <laughs> I was going to say, instead of long jumping to it, I'd suggest uh, jumping down to it from above. Like, there's probably a place not too far from it. Just higher up.
so we learned a single jump works there. I remember getting knocked off by these pistons, and I'm not entirely sure why. It might have been on the faster time. Maybe. So here you just gotta jump far to the left to... Wow, man, he just hopped it right up there that time. I can probably get on that thing and jump down to them. Oh yeah, maybe on that, uh, the upper path. Could always try long jumping, though. We know it's safe down there now. Ish. Please tell me I'm hitting the platform. That's like one of the saving graces of this level. Is there's usually something under you. Could I jump to that? Could I jump up to that thing? And like, completely make the platforms pointless? Almost. I have to wait till like, I'm at the height of everything. Playing it safe. Yep. I have two red coins and there's six left. Would that be enough? No, I don't think it would. Because it's 6, 12. No, I'd be too short anyway. Yeah, 6 left would be 12 more, so that would be 98. I'd still have to find a place to get. That'd be real hard to get those coins anyway. Yeah. I mean, you could always try. There is ground underneath those. Yeah. Of course, there's also a chance you hit one of those platforms wrong and you just kind of slide off into the pit. Hey, you get pachinkoed out of here. Yeah. Oh, if you ever do sunshine and you have to do the 100% thing, mm -hmm. uh, you can pachinko off screen. I don't care. <laughs> you could literally have, like, ah, I got all the shine sprites. Well, you didn't show the pachinko one. Yeah, you weren't getting that information. I remember that one. That's the one that is so jank, I don't think anyone's forgiven me a moto for that. <laughs> I mean, whoever designed that, I don't think ever deserves forgiveness. Just ever. Get that lined up better. Play it safe. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew what was out there. I wish I knew too. The fog of war is in effect. And I don't know when enemy allies are gonna be before to show up. It's slowly starting to become that whole like a star of video kind of thing. <laughs> I'm sure the hundred coin ones especially. Like, we've passed up a couple stars at this point we could have gotten, and we could have like three, four stars by now, but the hundred coin one is always a time sink. Especially what, Rainbow Ride? Rainbow Ride is going to be fun. All right. I wahooed my way up. Now do I want to try it? Where the coins? I mean, if the camera would agree. Oh, it's a one-up. One up. God dang it. <laughs> that was the point that's for me. I have... Oh, okay. Well, oh, thank heavens. For 7-Eleven? Damn. Damn you, Steve Bloom. I just gotta do this again. Okay. What is the... Turn around. That's the thorn. Okay. Yeah, 
turn around. What is in that? Probably coins. Thank you for reminding me, I forgot about that completely. What? What the hell? What? What did I hit, game? Did it literally what? invisible wall me? Because I literally jumped off of there and there was nothing in the way. You yeah, remember how I said... Oh, I'm so tempted to just jump down for the red coins now. I'd, I'd honestly consider it. I don't know if there are any coins up here. Um, do you need to go up those... Yay! Get it! Get it! Get it! Don't, don't, don't. I will come back up. I will come back up. I think the problem is, is now it's too high up for anything but like a single jump. Yeah, if a double jump doesn't get it, you maybe a back, maybe a backflip will get it. That was death what? if I had not done anything. Kind of wanted to say, go back and get the red coins, but that's not actually what we're doing here. Well, it wouldn't do anything. Yeah, like, that wouldn't help at this point. such a spooky jump. <sighs> Come on, Mario! What the fuck is going on here? Star. It was just right over here, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, as a kid, I don't think I had the wherewithal to try to cheat platforming things. Like with those three pistons that come out, I absolutely would have tried to jump on each one going up instead of just back flipping up to the second one. Leave it. Leave it. I'm gonna do you a favor. Okay, go around. I keep going. Um, turn to your right. See that over there? Mm -hmm. Can you long jump to that? Or just jump to it? Open that. Oh my god. See if you can go. There we go. Fucking thank you. Oh, Christ, I hate this part. <sighs> okay, um, before you jump down... Oh, they put those slants there for a Yeah, you literally can't. Just, you have to go all the way around. Well, we don't need the coins anymore, and that was the only thing that was distracting us from the end here. And so. the, the coins are the worst part of this level. I feel like in the early stages, the coins aren't so bad. 
because it's a safe level that you can explore. You're not in any danger. But in a level like this, the, the end game levels, the coins are hands down the worst part because it's such an involved thing to get all of those coins and you're in so much danger every step of the way. Don't you plug into it, I swear to Christ. Oh snap, this cartridge in half, I have to deal with that fucking flame thing. Just shooting me on the goddamn arm. Okay, so easiest thing to do here, I think, oh, is going to be to backflip onto the thwomp. sucks. Okay, so I remember seeing an image online, and I don't know how accurate it is, but concerning the hands on the clock, when the big hand is kind of anywhere on the right-hand side of the clock, the innards move slowly. And if it's kind of anywhere on the left-hand side, it moves quickly. If you get it in the proximity of the 12 on the top, time is stopped and it's still. If you get it in the proximity of the 6 at the bottom, it's random. And I'm not sure if that means it could maybe be... even still? Or if it's only maybe it's fast, maybe it's slow. Probably just picks between two speeds. I have never felt... Why is that jump so messed up? I've never felt so much to where I'm at the finish line, but I've hated the experience the whole... I've liked the experience up until the last mile or so, and then just been so close to deciding that, no, fuck this finish line. Yeah, it's like right when they're... It's right when they're expecting you to have a genuine amount of control and skill over the engine, which is understandable at the end of a platformer game, but when the game is just rough. Excuse me. Oh, where the crap? Was I not in the pixel length of the dick of that thing? Oh my god. Just get on the goddamn platform, Mario. Like, everyone needs to go to, like, the Game Grump episodes and everything, and every time Aaron gets mad, they just go like, Yeah, he was right. This is bullshit. 
Here we go! <laughs> I think that's the last one in TikTok clock. Yeah. I do wonder... Yeah, that's it. 